This is a quick under four minute run through of the installation of a Topic pannier rack, specifically here the Super Taurus DX. This rack is rated to carry up to 30 kilos and is an MTX compatible rack, which is a quick release system for a compatible trunk bag. And in this video, I'll be looking at the version for bikes with disc brakes. You can see here there are offsets to the rack down bars, which are not present on non-disc brake compatible versions. My installation differs from the provided instructions, in that I start by fixing the rack to the bike, not by fixing the arms to the rack, which you'll see later. I found it easier to first unhook the back wheel, to allow easier access to the rack fixing holes. Also not shown here, I first pre-fitted the supplied M5 screws. As this is a first fitting for this bike, I found getting the screws to bite was difficult and removing the rack from the equation made it easier to position the screws and apply some force to them until they took to the holes. Obviously, I then removed the screws before repeating the action, but with the rack in place, which you can see here. Each bolt is supplied with a washer which should be put in place before loosely tightening the rack fixings. Don't tighten it too much here though, so that it can be easily moved into a good position. Next is to look at the fixings on the seat stay. If your bike's already got screws fitted, remove them now, add a rack arm to each side, replace and tighten. If the bike has holes but no screws, the rack does supply enough screws. Take care to ensure you do not snag any gear or brake cables that may be near to the seat stay fixings. At this point, don't tighten the arms too much either. Some movement is necessary. Now the arms need to be fitted to the rack, which in the instructions is the first step. Make sure the rack is level and then bring the arms in to join it. You may find you need to bend the arms to fit properly. I had to push the arms in towards the wheel and add an arc so that the screw mounting points were flush with the rack. Although it does look like a bodge, this is part of the standard installation instructions. Each arm needs to be fixed to the rack with two bolts and washers, which once pushed through the mounting points on the rack and arm need to be paired up with another washer and a lock nut. This is a little fiddly and will require tightening with an appropriate spanner and allen key. Obviously, repeat this for the second arm. Once everything is in place, go back over all fittings to ensure they're appropriately tied. If you have a torque wrench, now is the time to use it. Set it to between 6 and 8 newton meters. And there we have one installed pannier rack. It's a little fiddly, but not terribly difficult. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and share buttons and subscribe for more casual cycling videos.